Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and it's time to show off another deck list from the 2022 format, which is becoming more and more relevant as we approach the release of Midnight Hunt, which will trigger the standard rotation. So anything legal here will be 100% playable there, which, I mean, we're weeks out from that. Uh, so this is the more landfally, less steely version of my Stole Your Stuff deck, which uh, people seem to like that one. It's kind of fun. It's kind of gimmicky. It used to win, and now people seem to have kind of adapted to it. A lot of people go in wide instead of winning with individual cards. And if they do, they're all flying, and then I don't really have anti-flying. But uh, this deck's, I don't know. I don't know if it's better or worse than the meta. It was really hard to say. Both of them I didn't really get anywhere. I pretty much had a 50-50 win rate, so I mean... They're both fun, which when I build, probably neither. I would wait for the next two, to be perfectly honest. So hit subscribe if you want to miss those. But uh, first up, we got Bubble Snare. You guys know what that does. Uh, Rune Crab, that's just there as a lightning rod, okay? I'm not a mill player. It's 115 cards. I got three damn crabs, okay? It's just there to be like, oh my god, I'm going to lose this eventually. Boom, waste a removal on it. Turn one, or two or three or four or whatever. If it shows up later, whatever. I mean, it might eat a you know kill spell then. It's just there to, to make them burn cards, pretty much. And if, if they're dumb enough to lose to it after, like, 30 turns, this is the only mill card in my deck. So, that's that's on them at that point. <laughs> so then we got, you know, the Land Fetcher. Of course, a little bit of a Magecraft trigger, but there's not much in this uh, deck, actually. Then we got Emergent Sequence. So that dumps in a land as a creature, but it also counts as a Magecraft trigger. So that's kind of cool. Um, and also, if you uh, dropped in an Evolving Wilds, then sacked it, dropped in another one, like a, a basic land in its place, then played this, your land will actually enter as a 3-3. Three, three. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then we got Lotus Cobra. Now, I got it down to one because, honestly, temporary use mana versus... You know, like, you have to use it now versus treasures versus actual land. Eh, this is on the lowest tier, obviously, so just not that good in this specific deck. It's not like a Blitz deck. Uh, then we got Ranger Class. It's kind of fun. I like that. Just It's just there to boost stuff and annoy people and, you know. Uh, then we got Scurried Colony. Shaved it down to one. I, I really, really, really put some work into balancing this, and this is all we needed. It's just the deck kept losing the Flyers. This has reach, and it grows over time. There you go. I mean, it is a binary switch. It's, you know, eight lands or more, but a 4-4 four, four Reacher for two even late game is pretty good. Uh, then we got Gretchen Titch Willow. She's pretty cool. So uh, you pay four, draw a card, then you may put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. So I did notice on, like, turn, you know, 10, 15, 20, I had more than one land in my hand because that's just how this deck works. So the double drop, and I mean, the free card for four, if especially if you got, like, 12 land in play, Oh, man, she is, and then a 0-4 for 2 on turn 2. I mean, there is nothing bad about her, and she's legendary, so I cut it to 3, but otherwise she is amazing. Then we got the Flying Death Toucher, because, duh, you gotta stop Flyers. It's a very flying-heavy meta. Uh, then we got Quandrix Apprentice, the same thing, Magecraft, and then dump in the land. Uh, then we got Charm Sleep. So this is just blue pin down, stop flying. Real simple. I mean, if I had to stop something on the ground too, cool, but this uh, taps them, keeps them tapped, none of this conditional crap or you know, none of this nonsense. It just costs three, and there it is. So I put in two because I like this better, but whatever. Uh, then we got the you know the clone land because, of course, you know I'm not going to not clone stuff. Then we got Augmenter Pugilist. It's still one. He's just still not that good. Then we got Broken Wings, obviously, take care of something problematic, like the, um, the Valkyrie enchantment or... Uh, it's pretty much any of the white class cards <laughs> or a flyer. Uh, then we got King Herald's Revenge. This is hilarious. So, uh, plus one, plus one for each creature you control so that it was scoot swarms could be huge or just with normal gameplay pretty big. And then it gains trample and it has to be blocked this turn. If they only have one giant flyer that they're winning with and you force them to block with it, that is way too funny. Or like one of their mana dorks. I mean, this card's hilarious, but I tend to run only one or two because early game it's useless ish. Uh, then we got uh, Roiling Regrowth, so sack a land and then go get two. Real simple, just, you know. Uh, I, I think at this one I have a way to play lands from the graveyard, too. So it's not completely gone, but really it's just, hey, look, double landfall trigger, and then you might be able to drop in a land on top of it, because this doesn't count, you know, as the land for the turn. So obviously I didn't put in too many, because it's not something you really want to do too much of, but it's pretty good. Then we got Scoot Swarm 4 of, duh. Uh, territorial Scythe catches for the, the growth, for the landfall, you know, and the trample. Then we've got you happen on a glade. I mean, I don't need to explain what that does if you saw the last video. It goes get gets uh, lands or resurrects something from the graveyard. Nice. Then we got Archmage, and this time I put in four, because uh, just sitting there and drawing cards, drawing cards, drawing cards, this one can do it. It's a lot spell heavier. Uh, speaking of that, Inscription, we're up to three. 
good card. Sleep. Um, I, I wish this card would just go away forever. I think it's an A series card, but I'm playing the M19 version of it, which it lets you unlock both. So that that's that's great and fair and makes sense. But uh, yeah, this this card is just an atrocity. Tap all creatures they don't untap. So you you bought yourself two turns of free swinging. So if I've got ten creatures, you got ten creatures, and we're sitting there staring at each other. I just won. For four mana, uh, this is this this card's a disgrace. Uh, then we got Vastwood Surge. Okay, goes to, gets two lands, puts them in, and then you can put one one counters and everything for eight. Which you know, yeah, right. Uh, then we got Cosmos Elixir, aka the Coconut Elixir. We got four of those because you know, free healing, free lands, and this deck uh, likes to stall out, likes to block the way, likes to kind of slow down the opponent, pin them down. So the longer I can sit there and heal, then I'll draw them two to one. The more I'm going to win. So of course I put four in. Then we got three Mind Flayers because I mean I'm just I'm not going to cut them. He's just too good. This isn't like a Steeler deck, but I'm not going to cut him. <laughs> then we got Ancient Green Warden. This card's way too funny, but he's way more powerful in my white green deck, so watch for that. Then we got uh, Old Nawbone. He's pretty cool. He's a treasure generator, nothing too special about him. Then we got Rampaging Brontodon. So this really is just land, 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 go, 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 draw, 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 and then win with sleep, win with flood, win by stealing their stuff, or just get one of these cards and win with it. So it's a little narrow, but we do have three comas, which that card's insane. But first, Rampage Brontodon. I mean, he when he attacks, he gets plus one, plus one for each land to control, plus he has trample, which, uh, yeah, a lot of people hate this card. Once again, M19, it's not supposed to be legal in this format, but they added it to the A series. If you don't know what the A series is, it's like the Welp Welcome decks, but like also the tutorial... There's some term for it. Oh, there it is. See, that's why it's legal. And it shouldn't be. And if I switch to best of three instead of best of one, all of a sudden it isn't legal and my deck isn't valid, even though it's the same format. So, boy, you want to talk about obnoxiousness mixed with confusion and fragmentation. They never should have done this. And most of the A-series cards are ones that people hate. Like, they have a card that's basically redundant with the Johnny's Pride Mate. In fact, I think one of the cards was the Johnny's Pride Mate before the last, uh, well... Well, I'd say rotation, but, you know, to, to 2022. So, in my opinion, rotation has already happened. Uh, then we got Coma. I mean, that's just a game winner right there. Usually, that's how you win the game, actually. I was going to run four, but that seemed excessive. I mean, it cost seven. Uh, then Ochre Jelly. This one's actually kind of funny because they have to kill it twice, and you can just dump X into it. So, that's huge. And then just X Stealer. And that's it. Just simple landfall deck. So, a little bit of control. Not not even, I think, a single... Um, uh, counterspell, believe it or not. It, it's just there to, like, jam it up, dump lands faster than them, draw more cards than them, and then eventually beat them with a really, really powerful card. Very, very slow, but I'd say a little bit faster and a little bit more on curve as far as lower average CMC than the last version of the deck that does rely on stealing their stuff, which just falls flat on its ass if they are running like goblins and none of them are any more important or they're running angels that have four in play well stealing one isn't going to do anything it's just going to slow them down this one just absolute domination so i kind of wish there was a board wipe or something but you know you only got four sets to choose from they're oh just a bit less powerful than the <laughs> the the old standard but um yeah a lot of rare lands going into this uh that ratio took me forever to get that perfect this is a very optimized deck it's just not an amazingly good deck it, it's fun to play with it's interesting i mean it tricks the opponent a little bit so it's like yeah it, it's just kind of it's, it's something to play i'm not too impressed with it but a lot of people are like dude i gotta see that 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 uh deck list because i just love landfall so if you love landfall mixed with magecraft mixed with just go 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 and eventually on like turn 10 you're casting seven spells per turn or something because you just went off Oh man. Okay. So yeah, I love that. So, uh, the big one that I want to point out, and this, this is a little preview to my white green is this guy doubles land ETB triggers. So anything landfall or anything similar to it, it doubles it. Now there's another card in my other deck that, um, lets me play basically evolving wilds or any other land from the graveyard without exiling it. Yeah. So you can have like 250 scoot swarms in like one turn. It, it's, truly ridiculous so this guy being an amplifier i mean you, you and the thing is you know you're probably thinking oh well i'm gonna really go for like what seven cards to win the game out of 115 that's just stupid you could win the game with scoot swarm you could win the game with territorial scythe cat you could win the game with something you stole from them you could win the game swinging with whatever garbage you have in play whoops by uh casting sleep i mean it's just there's more win cons than it looks like you could win with the 8-8 eight, eight right there just keep swinging keep swinging keep swinging and anything that would get in the way Pin it down. You could win with this if they're an absolute moron who's running zero la uh, uh, removal or fight cards. 
But um, yeah, I mean, you, you guys have probably seen this play, but just to really illustrate it, I am actually going to jump into a game. All right, so I have no idea what to expect. We've got uh, three here with a rune crab and then, and then a oh, high end. I don't like that, but we'll try it. I mean, if I knew what he was running, I could make a more intelligent decision, but... Uh, Oh, well, oh, we do have the clony land. I love that. So if I get a good threat out, I probably have one of these out, just mathematically. So, of course, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to make him sweat a little bit. Oh, whatever that is might be good. Oh, it's this deck again. Yeah, People are just starting to copy each other. They, there was some creativity in the queue. And now that I made it to Diamond and it's been like a couple weeks, people just running that deck. Oh, that's a new one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. How did that one get past me? Holy cow, that might go in my, like, absolute cloner deck. I'm working on one. It's it's gimmicky, it's funny, it's silly, but it uses, uh, like, Litarja, or Lajara, pardon me, or, uh, oh, that other one, that, that two cost that turns all of your, like, token dumps into one creature, whether you own it or not, and it's, they summon one dragon, and you're like, I have 16. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really messed up. I don't think it's any better than the one I'm showing right now, but... Oh, they're in trouble already. See, this is why if they lose to it, they're just careless. They're just sitting there plowing ahead forward. They need to get rid of this card immediately. If they blow this up, they deserve to get milled out. But, like, where is their removal? It's they got to have a force fight. they got to drop in something at some point that, that that isn't this crap. I don't know. Bad start, maybe? I don't know. This, uh, this is a bad combination, though, with the level of draw. And he's probably running some of the similar stuff I am. This is, I wouldn't call it a mirror match, certainly. But uh, I thought about putting this in, but I thought, ah, counters, eh, what, I got to put them on my crab? I mean, I don't know. Eh, didn't seem that good. All right, we got green. Got a second source of green. We got the scoots going. Next turn, it's going to be a scoot, and I could steal two of his things that come out. I mean, I've pretty much already won, and he's at 24. It's just, look, look at that, 32 left. I don't know, man. I mean, this is, it. he's, he's powering up for some serious shit, <laughs> but... I don't know what he's doing. He is gaining land, but he's probably going to just, like, go off, which is what uh, my deck does. But I've also got this, so never know. I'm going to be real happy if I pull a forest next, because then I could drop him in and then hopefully top deck another land. But um, I could just use the, the blue side, turn everything into rune crab, and just win instantly by, by like, double dropping a land in play, but I'm going to need more lands to do it. Um, I could let him have that. I, well... They're gaining too much life off it. I hate to do this. I almost should just use this, but I want some offense. Yeah, he just he just left. He knew what was up, so that was way too short. I'm, I'm going to try one more. That wasn't terrifically representative, but you can see the threat. I mean, I'm sitting there dropping in threats while other people are charging up. Now, against a red blitz deck, that's a different story. Remember, this one has zero death touchers in it, unlike my last deck. So that, that works a little different, but, you know, let's go. All right, so we got the flying deterrent. We've got the double drop. We've got Quandrix, and this would trigger that. And then we got a, a game winner with three. I mean, it's I've seen better. I, I'm not starting with any like really good on the ground one and two costs. This guy's not bad. He'll buy me some time. Uh, opponents going first. I mean, I'll take it. We'll see what happens. These are nice option cards, so colors aren't a problem. Oh, turn one evolving. Okay, so I don't know what he's doing. Interesting. Although what he drops in should be pretty telling. I, I've been able to predict it pretty good. Like I said, people are just falling into a couple decks, especially in the Diamond League. It's a shame. I like creativity, but it, usually the creative decks are the ones that beat me. So if I could just build around to like a five deck meta, let's just say I'm used to it. Now I, I tend to build assassin decks that get right in the cracks, right in the weak points of all the uh, <laughs> top tier decks. How hard could it possibly be? To pick out a color of land. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he must be on mobile. I'm just going to edit this out. Okay, 100 years later. This is my first draw. Yeah, that's 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 an issue. Um, <laughs> whatever. If As long as I don't get stranded, I really don't want to play this. I might need this, I might not. Probably not against green. It's a snow green. Oh, this is full-blown snow. Innkeeper, Okay. This deck isn't the fastest. I know which one this is, but it's not the fastest thing in the world. So we'll throw in a 2-2 so it isn't going to eat cheap shots at me. Pardon the uh, sirens in the background if you hear those. I live in the hood. I'm just going to edit out every time this guy takes 30 seconds to make a damn decision. Yes, that was the obvious one right there. So he's going to try and get out Scoot Swarm or possibly Pest Drop, but I haven't seen Black yet. 
so it's probably like like a white life gain trigger, scoot swarm on the bottom, angels on the top kind of thing. Um, that's fine. I mean, if I can get this fourth one out, I almost should have just done that this turn, but I wanted... Oh, no, I really should have done that this turn. I, I just want to top deck a land so I can save this, because it's a really good card, but, uh... He wouldn't be this stupid, would he? There's no way. He's going to take 30 seconds to decide, but he wouldn't be this stupid. <laughs> there we go. All right. See what he does. The suspense is killing me. I'm, I'm on the absolute edge of my seat here. Although if he does get land stranded, I'm going to laugh pretty hard. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So that's always in this one because she's literally a Johnny's primate. So, and scry one is the real problem with her. I'm sure they thought, oh, she'll be fine. She's two color. These are the life gain colors. <laughs> not, not in the color pie, just in the current meta. Throwing that one out there. Ah, come on. Yeah, she's going to be a problem if I can't kill her. And you might have noticed, I have no direct kill in this deck. I'm going to have to pin her down or something. Although, I mean, we got this, except we've got also this obnoxious card. Th this costing one and then granting indestructibility, which it didn't this time, but it, it does. Uh, yeah, three or more snow permanents. Permanents! That includes lands. I mean, what the hell? If it just said lands, I'd be like, okay, that's obnoxious enough. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to do this to get to four. <sighs> Vastwood Sur Surge isn't even going to do anything, but I'll have seven mana in play. Or land, because he'll drop one in, two will do it. There you go. I might even top deck one. Coma next turn. That's it. And then he'll have to fly over me, which he might. I mean, he hasn't gotten rid of this yet. Well, I mean, he, he got rid of one, but he hasn't got rid of literally this one yet. <laughs> he's got five cards in hand, though, but my god, it must suck to get stuck at two lands. I mean, he's done a lot with it. He could have beat me with just this one card. I mean, it's, it's one, two, one, or two, two. But damn. Oh, there it is. All right. Okay, that's not good. Uh, a lot of the better stuff in this deck costs a lot more than that, though. Really? Scale the heights? That's a good card, but not many people play it. Yeah. 1-1 one, one counter, 2 life, play an additional land, draw a card. That's a lot of stuff for 3. It is sorcery speed, though, because if you could do it on your opponent's end step, that would be truly ridiculous. Oh, I got a bubble snare. Ooh, we might have this. Okay. Okay. Probably helps that he got, you know screwed the hell there but remember my first draw was coma so i'm, I'm not too thrilled with how the game's going either <laughs> so both of us could just absolutely take off and just start dropping bombs at any second this this is real magic right here it gives you time to breathe a little bit of back and forth a little bit of ups and downs you know at this point i don't even care if i win although i hate that card um yeah so it's just free removal for one in green I, that's it's ridiculous and then they they swing and they're indestructible so you usually end up losing two creatures hate that card but, uh, yeah, that's just that's a little bump in the road. Just a little bump in the road right there. All right. Could have pinned him down. Decided on the Serpent instead. No way in hell is he blocking. <laughs> 23 to 13, I wouldn't. But, I mean, this guy's playing like a lunatic, so who knows? There we go. I mean, he could have had a white boost, but this this deck just doesn't play that. I bet he's sitting there with four angels. I really, I, I really, really, really suspect it. Although no white class cards. That's interesting, because I know he'd be able to play them. They're, they're all under that, so. And I've got a replacement one, and I've got a pin down, and I've got to outdraw him if I can get back to 20, and then I've got a 0-4 defender. I mean, that's that's pretty baller. And she's going to start drawing cards, so I might put her out next time. Oh, whoa, here we go. Mana value 2 or less? I mean, if Quandrix goes, I don't care. If a Serpent goes, I would kind of care. <sighs> yeah, okay, well... I mean, if you're going to be an asshole about it. <laughs> hey, remember I can do this? You can tap them, and then they can't activate abilities. And then also I can I can get rid of one and make myself indestructible. Now, if he has a way to destroy this for two mana, that would be amazing. And that like that was bait, but I kind of doubt it. And if he does, that's fine. I have another one. Otherwise, hard to say. I haven't played this deck in a while. Okay, a little force fight there. Good card. Two cost, I think. Yeah. In green, it's the lowest one. I always thought that was weird. Well, I'm just going to keep getting Serpents, so I mean, I really don't need this. It Like, it would be nice to get him out of my face, 21 to 13, but I've got a damn lot of Serpents coming. So, I'm thinking Gretchen, and I'm thinking Coconut. Let's go. All right, there it is. And you know I'm swinging. You boy swinging. Come on. <laughs> now, that I might have considered blocking. I mean, 15, 13, okay, but it's like, if he gets out another like landfall thing or scoot swarm or something he's gonna want that 
All right, what do we got here? Okay, scale the heights. That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Okay, get the card, get the life gain. Yeah, that, it's very appropriate for this deck. You'd be shocked how many people don't play that. I haven't seen that card in forever. Dude, so people got to start thinking for themselves. I mean, just because somebody is like, I win with this, and it's a net deck, and it's powerful, doesn't mean they didn't have a blind spot and forgot a card, even when only four sets are legal. So do not forget that. All right. Didn't really need it. Very funny, though. All right, so... There we go. Now, see, I can put it in for free or I can drop the natural. It doesn't matter. But um, that's enough to get Mr. Skirt Squirrel, which is now a 4-4 with reach against what I know to be an angel deck. So his deck is just getting absolutely shut down. I kind of feel bad at this point. Like, this isn't even a match. He finally got to 4. We're going to see what he does. But if he ran away with it, I would have just bubble snared him anyway. So this isn't too dissimilar from how the game would have gone anyway, just not quite as fast. I, I think I had it. With these order of cards and stuff, I think I had it. By the way, I love these. Look at that. So fun. I was actually going to put that card in here, the uh, duplicator, but I thought, ah, it's a lot of mana. I'd only be able to use it late game. And it's like, what am I going to duplicate a legendary? Oh, here we go. Okay, there's finally the land one, which he hasn't been pulling many of, to be perfectly honest. But it's, it's a shame people are, they got to run portable hole instead of banishing light because white has like no good removal, like at all. They got that stupid thing that gives me an extra treasure, which that's just shooting yourself in the foot directly, full scope, direct on your toe and everything. Oh, dick move, dick move. Okay. All right. I mean, he has a flyer obviously in hand. Otherwise, why would he have possibly done that? Okay. I mean, sorcery, there's not much you can do there. Can't uh, use it defensively to go, you know, indestructible and block. But I'm going to have a lot of serpents. I'm just going to let him through. He probably thought, oh, he wouldn't block. Nah, I'm not going to lose one of my cards for this. I could have lost Gretchen. I don't care. Oh, mean. But yeah, he knew he was screwed. That's just too many serpents. So, I mean, yeah, I wish my opponent would have put up more of a fight. I got an easy win there. But at least you see how the deck works. So, I'm, I'm going to leave that gameplay in and... Uh, I mean, build the deck yourself if you're into this kind of stuff. It's a little bit more powerful than it looks, you know, in the deck list here. Speaking of the deck list, it's in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody, and watch for the absolute bomb of a deck in the very next deck list video. I'll see you guys next time.